Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest tonight has made books and changed countries. Please welcome Chude Jidonwo. Round of applause. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, recently, you took to Twitter to, you know, comment on people's reaction to your involvement in the 2015 election. Good times. Yes. <laughs> so please put us through. What was your level of involvement in that election? And when my company, co-founded with Adebola mm. uh, Williams, uh, was the communication mm. agency for the 2015 elections okay. under the APC. Yes. So we helped with. 360 degree media communication, PR advertising online for the candidate and for the candidacy. Yes. Yeah. So why, 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 why are Nigerians on your case? Where well, we can see now, as far as scarcity. <laughs> 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 um, well, I just put it, put, simply put, too many things are promised <laughs> and no promises and met yes, yet. Not, not a lot I, of promises met. So it's legitimate anger. Yeah. It's legitimate anger. Good, good, good one coming from you. Mm. Uh, recently as well, you've been very vocal about um, youth and youth uh, involvement, youth involvement in politics. Mm. So what measures are you taking to you know, mm. make sure that youths not only make noise, mm. but, you know, they walk the walk that is required right. to make their impact felt in Nigerian politics. Well, a number of things. Our, our organization is keenly involved with the Not Too Young to Run uh, yeah. movement. And okay. so working especially with media. So we've been helping over the past few months. Uh, so that's a key way. But personally, I think that my most important role is, to, is advocacy, is to, is to force young people to confront kind of the challenges and limitations of this. And I often say that young people haven't shown that we should be taken seriously when it comes to elections and politics. We've not been able to build movements that people should respect and want to get involved in. So how do you do that? How do, how do, it sounds good. How do you do that? Do you do that? Right. So, uh, so first, we need candidates. We okay. need candidates. I, the way I look That's at young it, candidates. Yes, candidates who understand. It's like building a business. It is not exactly building a business, but it's like building a business. You have a candidate with a vision then that candidate is able to either build the structure or find people that can help that candidate build the structure. Okay. And when you build that structure, then you get buy-in from the public. Now, of course, in between structure and buy-in, you need resources. <laughs> That's the cuckoo. Um, alongside your partner, Debola Williams, mm. you've created um, a media and public relations brand that is known around Africa, uh, notably in Kenya, where you recently worked with... Uh, uh, Raila Odinga. Mm. I share some of the experiences with us. I, when I want to annoy Nigerians in diaspora, I say, you just really confirm that Africa is a country, really, or at least of Saharan Africa oh. is a country. Oh. <laughs> because we found that the same issues are the same. I mean, the issues are the same in all these okay. countries. Not surprisingly, the demographics, young people constitute more than 50% of the population, unemployment is in the double digits, you know. Many of these countries haven't had competitive democracies in decades. Poverty is increasing. You know, corruption is a major issue in Nigeria and Ghana and Kenya. So we came into this. Also, we have all that in common. So we had, you know, we are, we are, we are family. <laughs> <laughs> we are family. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. When it comes to that. And the, the anger that young people have is the same in many of these countries. Mm. On a lighter note this time. Uh, that makes me scared. Part of, <laughs> yeah, part of the role you played in in 2015 uh -huh. was to dress up, you know, the, uh, the then candidate Buhari in iconic outfits like the Agbada, the Ibo Ishiago, and so what was it like getting Mr. President to get into a suit and tie? It, I mean, was, it was refreshingly different yeah, to see. Yeah, it was. That was, that was All pimped up. All pimped up. <laughs> you know, um, Debola was the one, okay. you know. Up until that time, I didn't even met the candidate. Debola was doing that. But it's between Adebola, Kelechi Amadiobi, and Uche Naji of Ouch. They found a way to convince him that if he wanted to get a different result, he yeah. had to do something different. Wow. And I think that, hearing from Debola especially, I think that Debola was very surprised as to the Buhari he met. And it's even a real issue now, which is something he hasn't managed to sustain. Mm. The Buhari that people meet personally, even up until now, has such mm. a sense of humor and a persona that's compelling and a simplicity that shocks you yeah. because you think to yourself, well, how come the country is such a mess, <laughs> you know? Same thing was said about Jonathan. If you yes. meet Jonathan in yes. person, mm. so is it that Asso Rock is the problem? I 
think as a rock, as like, rock is a problem. Yeah, when you get into there, there's a demon spirit. Yeah, that will Ruben, those demons that Ruben just, Abati talked about, the Bible they says, just come out. The Bible says the enemies of a man are of his own household. I think that in Asorok, that is a literal yeah. problem. <laughs> you, you have a point here. <laughs> so I think something changes them when they get in there. Yeah. And I think that they are unprepared for what they will find when they get there. I think yeah. the only person... I think, that, I think that's, that's they're, true. They're fundamentally unprepared. Because, I mean, anything can shake you. That's life. But yeah. are you prepared to be shocked? If I decide to run, what, how, <laughs> how do you make me win? I mean, compared to the APC youth chairman, yes. who is 60 years, <laughs> I think you are very young. Yes. <laughs> um, I think that there are two things. One is out of my, was out of my power in these elections. The other was in my power. The first thing is to ask yourself, what are citizens hungry for? Yeah. Obviously, we know that in 2015, citizens were hungry for change. Okay. Of course, people say now they are hungry to change the change. Change, yes. <laughs> but yes, sure. that was the question. People citizens were like, who is going to change the system? Mm -hmm. And we managed to help communicate that Buhari was the candidate to do that. Um, on the other hand, though, apart from the message, it's also possible to important to build the machinery. Mm -hmm. And that, I didn't have any part to do with that. That was Amechi, Tinobu, well, Atiku, um, in those happy times mm -hmm. of the APC. And so it's really... If any candidate is, do you have a message that would be popular, that would inspire people to choose you? So to the first you? thing I need to get right is my message. It's your message. The right candidate to the then right The next message. thing will be my structure. Your structure, okay. of which is, resources is important. And financial resources are important. And people often say, oh, politics is too expensive. Well, it is supposed to be expensive. Now, you, you know, you keep saying uh, resources, yes. resources. Yes. But that, you know, that takes me to your book. <laughs> now, in your book, somewhere in this book, mm -hmm. you said money is not enough. Yes. And you keep hammering yes. on resources, resources. Yes. Please help me reconcile it's a, this. It's the typical law of diminishing returns. Yeah. Money is important up until a particular level. Okay. We can see it in PDP with so, Jonathan. Uh, money is required. Anyways. Money is required. Oh, money but, is required, but, but it's not enough. It is not enough, okay. and too much of it is a bad thing. Really? Yes. When it becomes too much, you begin to see new stories like we saw of Jonathan campaign chairman fighting over money. That I, I think the problem will now be to know when the money is enough. Exactly. And when it's, it's yes. too much. Who determines? The campaign things? managers are the ones who determine that, or the campaign chairman, so to speak. They have to be responsible. And in some cases, when they are very fraudulent, the, exactly. becomes, the line becomes blurry. Exactly. They, especially if there are so, people who need money. Yeah. You cannot put a campaign chairman who needs money. Or in Nigeria, because Nigeria is a word case. People that don't need money are still desperate for money. So, you know, you have to get... Just money is everything. You know, yeah. here. Just everything. Yeah. You have to get campaign chairman who yeah. have what I call bellefulness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> unfor <laughs> unfortunately, there's no campaign manager in Nigeria with no bellefulness. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Sadly. So, unless you're going to import that campaign manager. Maybe. It's yes. nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.